Ooh, welcome back. I'm, I kind of want to set fire to this guy. I really shouldn't. I mean, he did give me this really sweet knife. I mean, I can't... D did I? Ah, yeah, there it is. Oh, look at this kid. Guy looks freaking ready for anything. <laughs> nice. I don't... Oh, cool. An opportunity to use it. I wonder, though, if this is the type of thing that's going to get stuck on walls. Clearly not. Actually, yes. Clearly, yes. It's a good thing that I'm testing this now. Okay. Alright, zombie, you come to me. Yeah. Ha! Now you don't know where I am. <laughs> I'm just gonna swing this sword now. Oh, yeah, look at how that wall gets in the way, huh? Alright, I'm just gonna swing this sword, and if you get caught in it, it's up to you. It's all on you. Okay, uh, hang on. Let me, let me follow through here. Okay, I think we have all of the bits necessary. Okay, we have, yes, this rune here, that's the Durga one. And we only have two other runes, but we can only fit two other runes. I don't know which one's that, and I don't know which one's that. You have discovered spell one. Isn't that nice? Uh, I'm not sure what that does. Nope. Pressing buttons, but uh, spell list. Check. The effects of this spell are unknown. Not all of its um, components are in your possession or have been identified. Oh, okay. I have to identify them first. That's a pain. Oh, well. Thank you for giving it to me. <laughs> Magical codex. Okay, so we got one. And that was, uh, what was it, Magamore? Uh, Ma Magormore. Magamore. Yeah. Okay. Now we need, I guess, those for two others. Oh, no! Oh, he's looking worse and worse. Could you imagine if Charlemagne had that? Eh. 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 Ooh. This is a damn good weapon. Just chop that thing in half. I wasn't even chopping in a halfward direction. <laughs> I love listening to poor Anthony fight. Uh, yeah, that's the Chaturga rune. That's good. That's uh, that's two out of three. I forget what each rune is supposed to do, but it's pretty. It's it's clearly um, mentioned at some point. Like each rune is supposed to represent one, like. I don't, I don't want to say sentiment, but... <laughs> yeah, okay, that's for item. And that's, in all likelihood, given the items that we currently have, uh, that's probably, like, fix, heal, repair, something like that. Uh, a red urn. Yes. Good. Did we pick up three or four of these? Because there's four of, four of the gods. There were four cubes in... Um, what's his name's level? Anyway, uh, rendition of a monstrous devil. I will always remember this particular fountain, because where is that word? Uh, this is monstrous devil is contorted into what appears to be a fountain. What sickly thing is it? But it's a, nope, it's not this one. There's another. Um, I think there's another uh, fountain later on, or maybe we return to this one just with a different set of words. But um, it's <laughs> it mentions fetter. F O E T O R, and I had uh, this was the, playing this game was the first time I had ever seen that word, so I thought it was foetor. <laughs> and I'm always gonna kick myself every time I remind myself of that that word. See that fountain. Uh, anyway, moving on. An aged tapestry hangs on the wall. It's surely priceless. It's soiled from the dank atmosphere in the room, and the corruption about him. Ooh, so um. Oh. <laughs> that actually makes for a very interesting picture. You can even see the intent on that guy's face. Or in, the, in, the, in his pose. Ah. Well, I think that's the only time we're really going to need to use that. Check this camera angle. Heh. Hmm. Are these Mantorok zombies? I think they are. All of the other zombies are 
pretty clearly color-coded and they each have their specific effects. Oh, way to be obvious about it. Ooh, limpy. You're not doing so hot, eh, mister? I think for as long as I have been aware of houses that had secret passages, I have always wanted to have a secret passage. Anterbach. Ooh. A uh, project. Hmm. So having a, a thing like that to return to what I was saying before, to have a have a, a giant bookshelf or a thing much like that, it's always been very interesting to me. You know, so you can hide for no reason. I have nobody to hide from. But, uh, hey, who cares? Uh, amongst the books is uh, this. Enchant item spell scroll. This allows the player to cast spells that have been found or researched. Uh, yep. Okay. Press A. Done. This torn scroll illustrated with a geometric symbol is accompanied by a small note. It says, that which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull will be sharp. Thus is the nature of the enchant item magic. Uh, the spell requires Anterbach and Magamore. Okay, so we need a recipe, we need to have all of the ingredients, and we need to know the names of these ingredients. That does sound kind of realistic, to be honest. Uh, yes, okay. And I... Okay, wait, I gotta read this first. Spells can be cast directly with all of these things. Uh, select a button to assign that to... Um, okay, B... Eh, okay. Magic meter, yes. This is uh, the <laughs> an interesting mechanic in this game is that the magic uh, meter, which is the blue one, will refill as I walk around or jog. So in later levels, I'm probably going to have to do <laughs> do a couple of laps, much like this. I don't need to do this right now, but um, it's going to be. Whoops! Oh, I did something right. That's cool. Oh, of course. Okay, okay, I, I got this. I pushed the button, and I'm gonna apply that magic to this. Can you see yet why I love the sounds in this game? Let me cast that one more time. Mmm. Nice. Um, okay, right. I remember what I'm supposed to do. There is one urn that is filled with fetid water. And two of them that aren't, so we gotta fix that. We gotta get some water, which should be just over here. Why else would there be a fountain? Unless we had to use it. Uh, yep. You. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Foul. Yeah, there's Foator. See, the first time you see a, w a weird word like that, would you not think that it's Foator? <laughs> Especially if, in you know, English was your first language. It's not the case for me, but... If it was... If English is your first language... Uh, your second language, sorry. Uh, and you see a weird word that nobody tends to use like that, what are you supposed to think? Phil Blue Urn. Anyway, ask a friend if something weird like that happens. I think I went a whole week of not knowing how to properly pronounce that word, and nobody corrected me. I don't know. I mean, it was kind of a fun situation that I was talking about that word to begin with, and we are you know, playing this game. I guess maybe nobody else knew better? I don't know. Okay, so what I gotta do... The urn appears to sit correctly in place on the pressure plate, but it does not appear heavy enough to depress it. Hmm. Seems to me like this type of thing could be easily solved by just grabbing a body like there is upstairs and putting it on that pressure plate. You don't need three items filled with water. Mm. Just being near this door, you can sort of get a feel for something. There's one zombie. Say, mister, that's a nice robe. Come to return my book. Very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. How does he know that I have the Tome of Eternal Darkness? You, sir? Oh, good. Good, good, good. The 
bishop's key. I just, I need that. Whoa! Oh, get off, get off, get off. Shit, shit. Uh, uh. You? Okay, good. They're all disarmed. <laughs> to the most literal degree, they are disarmed. Ah, oh, damn, that guy dissolved. Shoot. Ooh. A shrine to a god that dis that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before mankind walked its valleys. Hmm. No, I don't recognize that one. I thought maybe for a moment it might have been a Mantarok one because Mantarok's kind of a kind of a big name in in this sort of thing, but nope. Oh, you poor guy. Well, you can still walk fine. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't have, that shouldn't have worked. Whoop! How's the sanity anyway? Not so bad. Oh yeah, that's a bad walk. You and you. Okay, now that we have risk assessment done. <laughs> Oh, that's right, we don't have any healing items. Well, I guess I better be a little bit careful, but I don't think this episode goes on very much longer. Once I get upstairs... I mean, how many more different ways of decayed could there be for Mr. Anthony? Oh, he's a little trapper! Oh, he's a little... let's follow him. Hey. The fun thing about trappers is that they are traps. <laughs> And if you set one off, you piss it off or something, then it sends you to this place. Uh, the trap realm? Trap bird dimension. Okay, sprawls in every direction, um, but it's only relevant uh, as you can see it. Uh, whilst in this place, magic cannot be cast, and humans are subjected to very weird phenomena. I don't, uh, I don't remember any of that weird phenomena. The portals cycle from color to color as time progresses, and only the quick will escape. I think I need purple. But, see, there are these fonts. I mean, you can see the blue one off in the distance right there, uh, the center. Uh, if I stand in that, that's going to be infinitely replenishing of my, uh, of my personal store of magic. That's, well, that would be magic. The green one would be sanity. I think there's a red one that I'm about to come upon. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So, interestingly, going into the Trapper Dimension might be a waste of time to some, but it's really good strategy for most. And we can just walk on back. And see, if I hadn't been talking, that would have been a little, uh, I don't know, one minute deal. Uh, it's, it's hardly an... It's, it's a slight inconvenience. Trappers have no eyes, but can sense sound very well. If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be trouble. Okay, let's, let's be sneaky. You can see where there might be a trapper by uh, Anthony. Mm, Anthony's looking at it. And that, okay, I can't move the camera right now very much, but that's how you know that it's armed and ready to blow. Is if it glows and it starts to make that sort of chirping sound? Yeah. That thing's about to go off. Now. I made that mistake before. I thought that there might have been some invincibility frames while you're doing a finishing move. That's absolutely incorrect. So you have to disarm all your enemies first before you do anything impressive. <laughs> if you ever want to do anything impressive in a video game, folks, make sure it's safe first. I mean, not a priori or anything, but... <laughs> I mean, half the stuff you can do in any, uh, like, I don't know, a GTA game. Oh! Would not be possible if it was always safe. Oh, damn. Damn, son, you nearly done. What's my run look like? Ah, it doesn't look so bad. Yeah, that's a nice walk, though. Hmm, as foobar as this kid is, how is he going to go up a ladder? But he does. <laughs> Whoa, what in the hell? Oh! 
Oh, jeez. Uh. Damn. Okay. I'm not gonna waste time. Ah! Okay, the blue one hits me and he drains both magic and ma and health. Well, that's great. But that wasn't so bad. Got three heads. Just cut all three off. Mm. It's almost pointless to have big, giant, scary monsters if they're not... If they're only giant. They're not scary. They're not... Whoop! That guy didn't really take that much of a number off of me. Eh. And... Okay, and... Where? Nope! And you. Good. Everything's still in control, that's good. There. Okay. Now for the bishop's key. Uh, yeah. Gotta go <laughs> use the key. Can't just open a door. trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite Ooh. your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Ulya. God damn. They had a plan B. How efficient. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, it's what the hell. <laughs> this weird monster just burst out of a guy. But still, you gotta admire how efficient they are. Jesus. And this is... this. Hmm. On all of this is happening throughout history, and it's not marked anywhere. Okay, well, uh... What's the next step? <laughs> Sanity's down a little bit, so it's time for things to start getting a little wacky. Doors are going to be banged upon. There's probably going to be walking, uh, or very loud walking, anyway. Uh, oh, that's right. Because we got the items uh, for fixing up a repair spell before. Yeah. Let me exit out of this and now cast it on the second floor key. Sweet. Interesting how we're learning about how to function in the present using all of the stories in that book. There it is again. Hmm. Having done that, we're going to end it here, and in the next episode, we're going to start off searching around the second floor of the Roivas Mansion. Thank you for joining us. Have a good one.